people often say that the lion is the king of the forest. In fact, it is a king for its grandeur and being an apex predator. Did you know that female lions live longer than male lions? Did you know that there's a country named after the lion? Did you know that over 20 million people in India have a last name related to the lion? Keep on watching to learn more about the lion. I'm Akasha Cody and a hearty welcome to my YouTube channel. Please hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell for more videos just like this. The lion is the second largest cat family member after the tiger. Lions are mostly native to Africa, but there are some in India, like in the Gir Forest in Gujarat. Lions have strong, muscular, and compact bodies, powerful forelegs, teeth, and jaws, and a hairy tuft at the end of its tail. They have yellowish gold coats and are sexually dimorphic. Basically, this means the male and the female look different. By this, where lions, it refers to the male adult lions, look larger than females and they have a prominent mane on their head. Now, the Asiatic Indian lions have less manes than their African counterparts, and with this regal appearance and being at the top of the food chain, lions undoubtedly rule the forest, and they're considered as the king of the jungle. Talking about the forest, the lion inhabits the grasslands, unlike the tigers, which mostly inhabit tropical moist forests. Just like humans, Female lions live longer than male lions. In the wild, the lioness can live up to 16 years and a male lion up to 12 years. The generation length of the lion is about seven years. Now, male lions reach maturity at about three years of age and at about four to five years of age, they're capable of challenging and displacing adult males associated with another pride. They begin to age and weaken at somewhere between 10 and 15 years of age. Lions are diurnal hunters. This means they can hunt both at day and at night. The lion is an apex and keystone predator. This means the lion is at the top of the food chain. Lions are social animals, which means they live in groups called prides, which may comprise as many as 40 individual lions. Head rubbing among pride members is a very common social behavior, and lions are known for their teamwork when hunting and can even take on larger animals like hippos, giraffes, or even elephants, which are many times larger than their size. One thing that we can all learn here is confidence, believing in yourself. Your target might appear gigantic, but if you're confident, then you can easily reach your goal. It's all in your mindset. Anyways, a lion's pride consists of a few adult males, related females, and cubs. Males take on most of the defensive duties. However, both males and females mark their territories by roaring, which can be heard up to five miles away, and also by scent marking with urine. Yeah, that's right, that's how they mark their territory. Females raise the cubs and are the primary hunters. Groups of female lions usually hunt together, but sometimes males will join the hunt. When all the lion prime members go out for hunting, one lioness takes the responsibility of all the cubs, babysitting and even nourishing all of the cubs with her milk, even though they're not born to her. It's a bit like a lion daycare. This babysitting lion treats all cubs equally, including her own. That's a really great philosophy to treat everyone equally, and we should all learn from lions. Now, one of the most widely recognized animal symbols in human culture is the lion, and it's been extensively depicted in sculptures, paintings, it's on national flags, and in contemporary films and literature. Lions have been kept in menageries since the time of the Roman Empire, and cultural depictions of lions were incredibly prominent in ancient Egypt. 
In Sanskrit, the word simha means lion, and the word lion became a synonym for bravery, and so it's used as the last name for over 20 million people in northern India as the last name Singh. Did you know that there's a country named after the lion? Yep, that's right, it's Singapore, the most advanced country in the Southeast Asia. Singa means lion and Uru means city or town in many Indian languages. The majority of the people in Sri Lanka are Sinhalese people. The word Sinhala relates to lion and even Sri Lanka's flag has a lion holding a sword. The national emblem of India has three lions on it, as you can see right here. So this is the depiction of the lions in culture. The lions are known for their bravery and that's why they're this well known and this common in the culture and that is absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like my videos, then make sure to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to see more videos just like this. Love you, bye gosh.